The Honourable Member for Mississauga Streetsville. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll be sharing my time with the member for Chateau Gay La Colle. Today's motion deals with affordability, so I see that this was an opportunity to discuss poverty. Recently in this House, we debated Bill C-22. The intent of that bill is to lift Canadians out of poverty and to help make things affordable for persons with disabilities. Allow me to explain why Bill C-22 must continue forward. I'm disappointed that the Conservatives stopped a unanimous consent motion to move Bill C-22 to committee yesterday. It is my sincere hope that they will explain their reasoning to Canadians. In the past, the disability community has been often left out or even forgotten. Since forming government in 2015, we've worked tirelessly to include the disability community in policy making from the start. We are bold in taking action to ensure that no one is left behind so that everyone feels like a fully participating member of society. Despite all the efforts and achievements of the past few years, the pandemic has taught us some really hard lessons. One of them being that we need to do more to make life affordable for working age persons with disabilities. Bill C-22 would help address these issues. It aims to create the Canada Disability Benefit, which would add to the financial assistance already available from provinces and territories. Galam Perrin is the president and founder of the wealth management firm Finandicap, which, which specializes in financial services for persons with disabilities. Originally founded in the city of Quebec, Finandicap now operates across Canada. In an interview with the CBC, Mr. Perrin said that people are suffering a lot, especially because of the rising cost of living. His clients often face extra costs for adapted housing, public transit, and personal support workers. As a person living with cerebral palsy himself, this is his lived reality. All of the expenses he lists make life less affordable and push the poverty line higher for persons with disabilities. In Quebec, disability benefits are indexed to inflation, and in Mr. Parent's view, the problem is that these increases take effect long after prices have already gone up. Mr. Parent adds that governments need to recognize and adapt to this reality. That's why we are try this is what we're trying to achieve through Bill C-22. In my writing of Mississauga Streetsville, Luso Canadian Charitable Society is an incredible organization that helps Canadians with disabilities and provide critical services to many members of our local community. Luso provides a safe, supportive and caring environment for individuals and supports families living with physical or de developmental disabilities. A month ago, I had the amazing opportunity to celebrate one of their members, Paul, who, who turned 60, which is an incredible milestone to achieve. I was happy to celebrate his birthday with him. Mr. Speaker, we recognize that we have a responsibility to do more for Canadians. Working age persons with disabilities need our help. Bill C-22 would supplement, not replace other government programs. If Bill C-22 moves forward, then the Canada Disability would be introduced. The Canada Disability Benefit would make life more affordable for hundreds of thousands of persons with disabilities by lifting them out of poverty. Mr. Speaker, we're working hard to give all Canadians a little breathing room. In fact, we recently announced that we will, we will be putting additional measures to make life more affordable for Canadians who need it most. Those measures would do, would do things like double the GST tax credit for six months and provide a one-time top-up to Canada Housing Benefit to deliver $500 to $1.8 to million Canadian renters who are struggling with the cost of housing. The bottom line is that we're doing the work to help make life more affordable for Canadians across the country. And that includes hundreds of thousands of persons with disability. Mr. Speaker, in the spirit of affordability and in the spirit of lifting Canadians out of poverty, Bill C-22 must continue to move forward. Working age Canadians with disabilities depend on it. To my Conservative co colleagues, it's time to get back to work so we can pass the bill like C-22 to help those who need it most. Thank you and, and merci.